I've updated my information. I hope I've uh, not messed up anything. I guess it's a little too late now to stop myself if I have since I clicked the start streaming button. Ah. Ah. Where are we? It's been a couple months since we played this game. Uh, let me make sure Twitch is muted. It is good. Good on that. Um, I do have a vague recollection of us dying on this floor. Um, so if I could make it through this floor and not die, that would be really chill. And then I think I'm going to try and go and start the DLC instead of starting the... Uh, there's a bunch of third quarter quests we can do. Third or fourth quarter? Somewhere in there. Uh, just side quests to do before the end of the game. As so happens with RPGs, you just cross over that halfway hump, and then it's just like, well, here's a bunch of stuff you can do, some of a small amount which you need to do, and then after that you can just head to the end game whenever you want. So that's where we are in this, um, to catch everyone up, because Lord knows I barely remember. Uh, looks like we've still got a good normal party. I'm happy with all the decisions I made. Uh, this seems like a very good and functional team. I think I remember all the controls. It's, it's very mouse and keyboard driven. Uh, Etumok, prime person who's dying on the front lines every single battle. Very important. Backspace to select all. Not a problem. Not a problem to move. We've got some funky custom combo, so we're going to just inch slowly into the, uh... Oh, right, and we named our player character Holland Oates. Because I forgot that we were extremely cool people. Wait, not WASD, but arrow keys. Slowly coming back to me, the intricacies. Let's see what Go to Alt to sneak. <laughs> Cover seems kind of blown. We've got now four elementals coming at us. Uh, stream seems to be going good, so. That makes me happy so I can stop paying attention to it until someone winds up in chat and then it'll be half an hour before I get to any of their messages. <laughs> Which is, I believe, how chat is supposed to go. Need something stronger. That's not great. Of course they're immune to poison damage. You better run. Death de de death to our enemies. De de death to our enemies. Not a problem. I'll take a look. Um, okay, let's see, how do I speed up time? I'm 
D and S. So I just need to S a D and then all my dreams will come true. Got it. Be cautious. Be constant. No, it's really disorienting uh, trying to play or listen to or do anything, really, when there's a million fireworks going on outside that are very loud and very confusing. There's a lot of uh, a lot of people. Right, I am not good at playing the monk. E2 mock, you can't do shit, really. Hi, Sophie. I don't know if he really has any touching spells. Okay, there we go. We've got this spirit dead. Punch some butts, hopefully. That kickback still works. My favorite ability. Okay. Let's heal up and hopefully get some restums. Not a problem. All right, so I'm trying to clear this floor, but what I'm really I'll trying to do is uh, get out of here. Like I left myself in a pretty good spot, I think. Something is missing. In terms of, I'm not deep into any side quests or anything. Everything's kind of at my feet a little bit. Uh, so I can really pick and choose what I want to do next. And this is a good opportunity, as Jutranjo reminded me the other day. We are playing some Dungeons and Dragons Chronicles of Mistara. I could just play the White March.
Okay, so this is not going great. What I say. That immune thing seems very bad. Like, let's just say, especially bad. Okay, so it seems that our archer was blocking the path of our druid from going and fighting. So I'm really good at video games. Not very quiet. <sighs> so much I've missed from this game this last couple months. All I've done is play Zelda and Persona and all sorts of other extremely good video games. But look at what I've been missing. I'm on the trail. I'll go on ahead. Let's not forget our quick save button. Oh my god, the cat just emerges. Okay. Seems good enough. I'm pretty sure we can see the whites of their eyes. Sites are very elemental in that I'm destroying them. Really hardcore. Death to our death. You're mine. 
The AI is so strange. What it will and will not do, but I suppose that's the problem with working with state machines is that they can very easily just stop functioning because they don't recognize the state or the state that they're transferring from to the state that they're going to or a million other ways. That a fancy thing could get tripped up on its own fancy machinations. Your mom. Your mom. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's the clean out I need. Ah, oh, beautiful. I'm on the trail. This is missing something, huh? Well, not that. So many games to mix up all the controls between them for doing the exact same functions. But because of the different contexts, the different buttons or input for the different functionality almost makes sense, so it's a little tough to argue with. I don't know. You tell me whether or not 
you ever get tripped up on pressing the right button for the wrong game. Because that happens to me all the time. Brothers, this was the great scholar I was looking for. This doesn't seem great. Become stealth. This... This can't be it. The symbols... No. I was so close. Look, you can see. There's his name. And these symbols. Virtue. Gods, the rest is too worn away. There must be something. A verse, even a word. Be life under the waves. Be wrathful as the sea. Anything. Is there really nothing? Not even to explain this. Bends over the shattered fragments, pulling the largest of them together, removing a rolled piece of paper and a stick of charcoal from his pockets. He sits about forlornly, making a few rubbings. Is there a sadder sight than a morose historian? I don't know. All this time, maybe it wasn't a long hunt for like Saganis, but in, spent so many years at the Lore College, convinced, convinced I'd return and save the day. Well, buddy, if you're going to the Lore College, I mean, I don't want to get judgy or anything, but <laughs> fucking Lore. Here it is, the tablet. I might as well bring back an empty piece of parchment. There's no answer. Seems like the tablet's a pretty good answer. Let's see if I can raise the volume. Nope. Leading scholars of the day, like true pimps. Mm hmm. All right, so we did it. We saw everything there is to see here. I'm on the trail. Those stairs will lead us back up, but will they do us any worse than the stairs down? Or I should say any better. Yeah, it's probably fine. I mean, like, what whatevs. I see these fools. I ain't scared. I got a quick save button. Alrighty. Not a problem. Come at me, bro. I'm 
take out the animats at the ranged. Palagina seems to be dead, which is not my favorite thing. Killed Heravius good. Like, actually killed Heravius. <sighs> it's funny, because Fiona was talking about earlier today how she hates reloading. Especially on stream. I suppose I don't really feel one way or the other. It's just something that's got to be done or something that can be avoided. Right now, I don't feel like it can be avoided, because I didn't do my best. We are just talking. Oh, no, don't even fucking tell me. I, I hate you, autosave. I, I quick save right before that shit. Okay, yeah, so uh, it's four months later, so why is it the fourth slot down? That is bad programming logic. I'm just sorry to say that's just bad polish. Like, that save should always be at the top. Unless you've got good filtering rules that can be explicitly changed. Your newest should always be your latest to save. And if that's not, that's egregious. Like, I suppose the margin for error in this game is smaller because, you know, people, I don't want to say they expect less from this game, but. What the fuck? Why? Okay. I need to make it through this because this fight is fucking bullshit. I'm actually kind of upset at this game. So what I shouldn't do for my first stream back is probably get all judgy. Why the fuck is my wizard there? God, this is making me wanna rage quit just a little bit. Gotta fight that instinct. Can't do that when you're streaming. This Yeah, let's see the problem. Like, I like micromanaging the AI of each of my characters, but if I neglect one character, I don't necessarily want them to do the stupidest fucking possible thing for their class and present situation. That is what I would call egregious. This is compromise. See? Aleth doesn't have to worry about anything. Nor does Heravius. So they can just pee. 
peace the fuck out. Hello. Welcome to my failure and compromise stream where I try and figure out how to deal the least amount of harm to the least amount of people because doing harm is inevitable. Oi, oi, oi. Sorry for the pessimism straight away as a welcome. I just want to get the fuck out of this goddamn dungeon. Oh, there's always a kitty following me. Um, that's just kind of how I roll in this video game. Cat. Where is the cat? Where is that darn cat? It's either trailing behind or already there, but I. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Um, you're not going mad. Do you do you want to see the real kitty? Cause she's right here. Hi, darling. I guess there's no other place to go. Yeah, um... Thank you, Seawolf. I'm extremely aware. <sighs> you just gotta deal with wizards with a special, special pair of gloves, I feel. Always fucking wants a word. Well, it's it's not me that's mischievous. It's just that I know that she's gonna be very unhappy with me. Even though she purrs, she's just gonna be like, "Why did you put me in this situation? I'm not getting back in this situation anytime soon." Like she is the cuddliest, friendliest most social cat except when cameras are involved. It's kind of really amazing. I'm astounded. There you go, baby. There. That's what we need. Um, am I neglecting Aloth? Am I always neglecting Aloth? Yes, I am. The answer is always yes to that question. Uh, this whole run-through, the second playthrough of the game, was sort of motivated by my extremely extreme neglect of Aloth in the first playthrough, because uh, there were some things revealed about him in the final parts of the game, which I was just like not even aware of, although they treated me as if I had been completely aware of them, but there were bi very big plot twists that I just didn't even know about because I had literally spent no time with him. Because he was just like, fuck that guy. <laughs> Writing is hard. Where can I see this merchant? I've sort of forgotten how to play this game in like three months. He is a complicated person, and I just did not get to know that person before saying peace. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I have no idea what's going on except for the fact that I've come played through this entire game before. So that part's difficult, but thankfully, uh, the thing... Okay, it, it seems like it's difficult in that it presents you with a lot of things that it assumes you know the information about. However, there's never the requirement that you understand what's going on. Following your lead. So, 
I mean, if you're okay with fumbling, it's not like the game punishes you for it. All right, Azuro. What do you need? I just... Okay, this is the part I'm going to really miss about uh, game two. It's just... And then they should have doubled down on this for game one, except for the fact that they were still trying to figure out what the hell they wanted to do and just trying to make a competent blizzard... Uh, blizzard skate? Baldur's skate. Um... But I love this aspect of just being like, well, I'm a king on a throne. I have to decide people's shit for them. Because that's what my job is. It's not like that's necessarily a power fantasy of mine, but it's a really interesting perspective that I do not normally inhabit as a powerless cog in the machine. Darkness. Um, I need to play that need to play that game. I keep going back and forth whether or not I actually need to play that game. Because I hated the first Dragon Age, despite spending 40 hours with it. Even though I really love the idea of the general direction that they've taken the series. Um, Adair can deal with this shit. He's not in my normal crew. Yeah. Like the last Bioware game I really enjoyed was Knights of the Old Republic one. Which I didn't. Like on the re I like Mass Effect 2 and 1. But also, truly. Okay. Let's do some DLC. Uh, so, yeah, I said that doing DLC was a good thing for, like, people jumping on and not uh, remembering my streams from pre-Persona 5, but fuck, I don't remember my streams for pre-Persona 5, so I'm going to do the DLC as a jumping on point for me right now. I'm going to go to the frozen north and do some Icewind Dale. Get some Icewind Dale in our Baldur's Gate. And everything will be good. Better indeed. Better. All right. And just because, let's see what this whiny bitch wants. Don't tell him gone awry. You and I are stuck with our awakenings. Not quite the news I was hoping for. But see, because I also know things about his past that he hasn't revealed to me now. Surely you beat him. <laughs> Means I'm crimmed in this one's skull until he manages to get himself quelled. Yeah, sometimes Seawolf, I absolutely agree. I think this is a game that Fiona will very much enjoy. Um, it's a strange one, that's to be sure. Please don't do that. If you take it out of the context of Baldur's Gate. We're still waiting for Fallout 2, though, so... Yeah, I almost want more of a doubling down or, like, just forget the... RPG aspects. Just give me the, ca the castle and the roguelike and just let me be a king who has bad shit happen to him. <laughs> Overstocked tunics, burnt toast, rawatai sherry. Those are not that bad. But having a stranger pop in and out of your head at will, it's unpleasant, I assure you. 
over-starched tunics are, is among lists, his list of the worst things in the world. Okay, so this is the shit that I actually did not help him with. And I have no clue what is honestly the right call. So I've just got to go with my heart, but that's bad. That's strange. I've lived with her most of my life, and I've always seen her as an adversary. It yeah, eat your demons. She stood up to my father. There's something about being too close to a situation to see it clearly. It will be a relief to stop fighting her. Uh, worth it on the Steam Summer Sale? I mean, do you want to play a RPG that's at least, at the very least, 30 hours? And has good technical combat, although not the best in the world, but definitely the best writing of any modern RPG? Oh, it's worth it to me. Writing in any RPG is the thing that's most worth it to me. It's definitely not that case for everybody, but for me, this is the best choice because it's the best writing. All of my words, I, you can't hear this, but all of the things that I'm saying that are good are punctuated by fireworks blowing up in the background. Can't pretend that I didn't spend years in my arcane training hoping that one of my instructors would have had the answer somewhere in his grimoire. Join the Leaden Key, I hoped and believed that with enough loyal service, I'd gain the ear of someone in the organization who could help me. Even when I met you and realized your unique talents, I hoped that you might be able to reach into my soul the way I'd seen you do with so many others. Well, if you keep looking to others for your answers, Aloth. I'm conflicted between one and four because they're both true. But let's well. remind him that he's. You've been a capable leader for this expedition and an invaluable yep. mentor to me. I won't forget what I've learned from you. I don't blame you for a second, Fiona, because uh, I mean I'd hoped that you'd gone to bed, but that's that it's around what I expected. About the gods not being real. Yes, I suppose so. Still, I can't help but worry at the state we'd be in if that were somehow true. If there were no power guiding us in this life and shepherding us to the next. See, so, yeah, I'm, I'm the worst person to ask about uh, Pillars of Eternity because it's very long, but it's it would be a day thing. Like, and that's, that's the thing is because, I mean, compared to things you normally stream in the day, which are more open-ended or sandboxy or Fire emblem he because Fire Emblem is tactical, and this has some tactics to it, but the overwhelming balance, not overwhelming, but overall balance, majority balance, is not firmly, but somewhat in the story camp. And there is some reading... Perhaps reading out loud, which I'm not as good at as I should be. Although there, all the voice acting in this is fantastic uh, for people who are just looking to buy this for themselves. Not on stream playing, I would very highly recommend it. Um, I mean, it's a 30-hour RPG with better writing than any RPG currently going. Combat's not great, but it's far from terrible, in my opinion. I have a much higher opinion of it than most people. But I always like this Infinity Engine combat. I like pausing every 15 seconds real time. I hope you're right. 
tell me of Edir. This is also weird because I've just spent, yeah, no problem. I'm always happy to give an opinion on one of my top five favorite modern video games. It's good, good practice for me to do my salesman pitch. Uh, but I was just playing The Witcher 3 earlier, which had a very, very different depiction of elves. Uh, so that's a funny thing to get mixed up in this. Wait, is this just the Adventure Zone, but better? Better concepts, that is, not better storytelling. Hey, <laughs> is this boy just gonna like? You see, he's in the Pillars of Eternity, too, and I wonder if he's going to have this, uh, the other four? Oh, I don't remember if I, remember, or if I mentioned another four. Um, that's four great games you could play that are like this. Iceman Dale 2 and Baldur's Gate 2 and Planescape Torment and uh, Arcanum. We'll go with that. There's so much about how you feel about Animancy, but I really don't understand the concept well enough. And it's not like I haven't read enough lore or anything. It's just... Uh, like, there need to be a lot more non-extreme conversations, I feel. Not that this game needs more words. So that is one true failing of this game, is that there's just so many words. So you're going directionless. This leaden key off, uh, promised me some of the structure it was lacking, and they offered me a future far removed from the service to my father's Earl. Earl. It's a weird, funny word. Uh, animancy is more controversial and eddier than it is here. The practice here has been outlawed for 600 years, but prohibition has been a way of breeding curiosity. The success and relative acceptance that animancy has found here in the Valian Republic spurred a renewed interest in eddier. That is interesting. Um, oh, top, top five uh, modern games? I mean... Well, City Skylines, obviously, and I like the the Final Fantasy fifteen. I also like Final Fantasy fourteen. I've been playing that more of more of that. Uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild is obviously in that top five games of all time. Witcher three, obviously in that top five games of all time. Now that I've played that, so these things have become tougher and tougher, but. Pillars of Eternity, I think. Although I had uh, played a lot fewer modern great games when I first played it, I think it really, really, really stands up. Even though it's like a year old. <laughs> um, but maybe it's just that I was especially primed by my childhood to play games like this, but I like well-written stories. I like well-told stories, which I feel this is in most parts. Because it allows you to pay attention as little... What is a hammock? As little and as much as you want. Uh, and you will be rewarded for both equally. 
which is an incredibly difficult thing that we solved only through having tons of these kinds of games. <laughs> Make is means for a noble to add another administrator to his or her household. Concerts are received with almost the same level of respect as their noble counterparts, which can be extremely useful. Oh man, hammock, so good. So yeah, it's like if you're if you want to dig, absolutely one hundred percent not necessary, but you're gonna get some real weird cool shit that will actually color in the world uh in a way that it might seem generic without. But that's all I really wanted to know. Alright, so I hope that y'all are happy with me talking with my goddamn wizard forever. Um, I have terrible taste in video games, so take it with all a grain of salt. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes. Following your lead. I'm ready. Just say I'm just too good. <laughs> it's a curse. Okay. Right. So, no, let's uh let's let's take a minute. Let's look at our quests. Okay, I have not looked at a quest log in this video game in quite some time. And this is much, 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 much worse than The Witcher 3. But I have a lot of quests I can do. Oh my god. Uh, quest for good RPG UI. Durgan's Battery. And I want to go to Stalwart. Um, yeah, Sea Wolf, that is absolutely the most interesting part of this game, I feel, in terms of what it's trying to say. And it does a pretty good job, uh, I would say, of not necessarily presenting both sides are bad, but like. Uh, you know, just the general intricacies and, and fine workings of the problem from both sides. <laughs> Maybe not using that phrase, uh, but it, it allows you to make a nuanced decision regarding animancy that is neither judged implicitly by the game nor by the most of the characters in your party, to the north, which south, is important because it's not it a black and white issue. Here we go. Fingers, the road thins to a tattered ribbon, and the shadow of the mountains falls across your path. You've barely begun your climb. Well, good night, Pipsqueak Panda. Thanks for joining. And turns the ground I'll be playing again on Thursday. So you press on. The air grows thin, and the treacherous mountain passes funnel screeching winds past your ears. A blizzard forces you to make camp for three days, huddling for safety while snow piles around your refuge. At last, the weather clears, and you approach Stalwart under a crisp blue sky. There's a noise, high and sharp coming from the village that sounds at first like another frozen gale. But when you top the rise and reach the village's wooden gates, you see what lies beyond them. Is it trees? I hope it's trees. And not like death. Death would be a bad thing to lie beyond the gates. It's not there! With a whole pack of them! We can take these bastards! <laughs> Cutscenes. Oh shit. Um, getting thrown straight into the, the shit. Um, 
And everything looks slightly better because it's an expansion and they've had more experience with the engine. Oh, but good night again, Pipsqueak, and um Yeah, I mean absolutely one thousand percent Seawolf. Uh that is something that feels lacking in this for me, uh but I guess the only real reason I'm able to get around it is that I just go, well, am I even able to get to the starting point that I'm talking about? Like, am I even able to get to where I think this is a problem with most games? Or do I think most games just don't even get anywhere close, which obviously is the case. Uh -huh. But then again, it's not like... This should be awarded any free passes or anything just for being basically competent. However, if anyone's in a position, this is just sort of the back and forth that you go between as a modern day person. Just like, if anyone is able to or in a position to, or ex is expressing any desire to do something further. I trust Obsidian more than I would trust, uh, a, you know, Divinity Original Sin 2 people, or the Witcher people, as fantastic as the Witcher was. It's a very authored narrative, and it's not going to really say anything interesting in terms of games as narrative. So much as it is just going to be a really good one. Um. Yeah. Just none of these are going to push interactive narrative further in a way that, like, you know, Christine Love would, but. In terms of this being. A refined experience that people want and can possibly do some interesting things. There's some value there, I feel. It's just tough. Man, I can't wait until I get my ass kicked for doing the wrong thing in making a thing. I mean, not like this ogre freaking out. I guess he stopped freaking out now, but like, if someone wants to complain about that, I really could not give less of a fuck, but if I, if I mess up on a story point and someone's able to help me out and say, hey, here's where you can do better. My god, that is the only thing I would want as a creator is someone saying, hey, here's how you can do better. Pray, pray, pray. Pray, pray, pray. Hmm. Ravius. Probably should not have fallen down there. Not really sure what to do about any of this, because it seems the city's kind of under siege. I suppose I'll help. We need help. This way. I think they need help.
I think this is going all right. Oh, I was gonna say that Soger seems to be you run. leaving us alone, but then he shot my dog with a giant gun and killed it. And now I feel extremely bad. So that's that's wow. Not a problem. Interesting graphics effects. Craig over? So we're named Craig? What the? What's up? Mutta, do you want to start the next battle? With the Craig? You want to defeat the Craig? Yeah, that, uh, that is a fucking gigantic gun. But we're gonna destroy this Craig. Come here. Come here. Beat the Craig. Beat the Craig. Yeah, destroy that Craig. Oh shit. I have two of my party members dead. That's really bad. <laughs> Muta. Are you gonna save us from this gigantic, uh, terrible hole that we've built for ourselves? As long as they're not actually dead, I suppose that's all that matters. Oh, they're not hurt at all. This is all very bad. Um Yo, it would be great if I didn't have to. I'd really like to not die. Who's texting me in the left at night? Um, Palagina does not have a raise at this time. She has a heal. And now Palagina's dead. I had salt flying, just don't even think about it. Nope, not a problem. Nothing here is a problem. Not paying attention to range. Terrible. Terrible decision making. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Muta, if I survive this, it will be what they call a miracle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. 
Oh yeah, I'm trying to do a no priest run. Because uh, I definitely overused him in the main game. Man, this is interesting, huh? Ready, Watcher. Oh boy. Ready, watcher. Uh. I like Durance. Just I I overdid him a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna redo this only because it's the start of the DLC mission. We don't wanna just stop. So we'll leave it a little bit. And also, we're just going to say hi. Hi. Oh. Back to the matron now. Okay, you say so. We set out for Stalwart. The White March rises up in the distance, stretching to the north. Well, my dad is watching <laughs> Twin Peaks. It beckons to you with peaks like broken fingers. The road thins to a tattered ribbon, and the shadow of the mountains falls across your path. You've barely begun your climb when the darkening sky pummels you with hailstones and turns the ground beneath you to ice. It's Darthir with a whole pack of them. <sighs> we can take these bastards! Yeah! The problem is, is that um, I was a chanter in my first playthrough, and I just I had Durance in my party basically the entire time, and I just mopped up. That Ogan Cannoneer destroyed, critted the villager, and just blew them wide open. These Craig Ogres, they're going to be the death of me. Let's fully explore this village. Fiona, don't you even step to my reloading and my failure abilities. I feel like I'm not in a good place right now. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. I don't mind a party wipe. Everything is fine. <clears throat> Too many bards. I think that's 
That's definitely always my problem. Too many bards. Because you gotta have one, and one's too many. This boy is just licking my toes. So cute right now. Uh, how do they end up with cats so cute? Just hug the outside wall. Oh yeah, Hall of Notes? I forgot that too. I also forgot Hall of Notes' the supreme ability to just knock motherfuckers to the other side of the map very, very easily. Just push them over. Just control the battlefield. Except for, of course, cannon boys. I love the falling screen shake. So I really need to stop playing The Witcher 3 because playing two RPGs with two very different economies is kind of fucking with my head. So I don't know what's valuable. On the hunt. Um, I have seen the Ron Perlman cat and it made me extremely happy, yes. So it turns out the internet is actually a very good thing. Fuck me. Are you kidding me? Palagene is already down? Don't get... No. That's some horseshit. Let's lay hands on yourself, girl. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's going on now. Let's punch this boy. You murder this boy. Itumak, you just do whatever Palagene is doing. should heal. Just heal everyone. I love that uh, area of effect, like, it, but not area of effect, but I don't even know what to call them. Like, it's heal beam and you have to actually aim it to the majority of your party. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, this always makes me happy to do that. Yeah, it would probably help. Um, I'm definitely playing in such a way that uh, needing to know how to do things well is not part of it. Um, 
because I would rather just play through the story a second time than have to just deal with anything, to be honest. Fuck, that's a lot of enemies. Uh, yo, Alof, what the fuck are you doing? This is what I hate about this game. I absolutely hate this. I cannot stand this feature. I don't care how couched it is in D&D &D or what the fuck ever. But the fact that I have to reload my game as soon as that party member gets permanently killed. Just fuck right off with that bullshit. I'm sorry, I don't care what the justification is. But that is some horseshit that does not belong in a video game. Or any kind of game, to be honest. It's just... Insert unflattering things here. Um, you can. You can. But I am stubborn. I I don't know how to say. There's no way to say why I choose to leave it on. It's a masochistic decision. I realize that. Like, I refuse to play the game well, and I also refuse to let the game uh, help me in not playing it well. I know exactly how stupid I am. Don't worry. I don't need I don't need help in insulting myself for this shit. Yes. As you say. Okay. Look out! More of them by the fishery. Oh, well, your fishery can fucking defend itself. Seems I already defended the fishery, so I'm sure nothing's going on by the Temple of Ondra. Wow, owned. Immediately owned. She's dead. Dead. I'm not gonna even bother saving my people. I've, uh, I've encountered a very obstinate and angry attitude in terms of me in this video game. Um, thank you, Seawolf. 
I will need all the luck I get with Jokers. I have a feeling that I'm not going to last more than 30 seconds more, so have a good night. Yeah. Oh, let's let Durant fuck that shit up. All right, we're going to figure out what the wait command is. And uh, now it's only an hour and a half, but hey, it's a lot more than I've done in the uh, last couple months, so. We'll see you kids on Thursday. There won't be a community stream starting early, so. We'll have a lot of options in terms of uh, figuring out what to do with all this horse shit. Be li good little boys and girls and make a good party and rampage correctly. That's the plan. Uh, but thank you for joining. Hope you all enjoy your night. And, uh, cool beans. Cool beans, everyone. Cool beans.